Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm really excited to have a book review for you. It's been such a long time since I've done a book review. I'm really trying to get back into doing those because it, this is the reason that I started my channel. I just didn't realize how much hard work it was to do a bunch of book reviews and because of my really lax reading schedule I just haven't really found a book to review. Today I'll be doing a spoiler-free book review on Spellbinder by Thea Harrison. This book was sent to me through NetGalley. It was released July 18th, 2017. I do believe that's the right date. I was in this book a couple of days before that and I read it and was able to do a review on my Goodreads and my blog but I was in Maryland at the time and I didn't have any of my filming equipment so that's why this review is coming out a little later in video form. So Spellbinder is the second book in the Moonshadow series. The first book is Moonshadow and I didn't read the first book. I have really no interest in reading the first book and I'm not planning on reading the first book and the reason that it's okay to do so in this series is because while they may be part of the same universe, they are written as independent novels so you can just pick up the next book and you can read it without having any preconceptions of the characters, the universe, anything like that and it's perfectly fine to do so. Now you may just miss out on a couple of like plot lines that were either introduced before, a couple characters that were introduced before, or a couple plot lines that are being set up for later novels. But as long as you're okay with that, and it's not really a big part of the novel um, anyway because like I said it is written in a way that you can just pick it up and have absolutely no idea what's going on and it's perfectly fine. Like I said, it's written as an independent novel. I don't know if I get that across enough. So I'm actually going to read the synopsis off of Goodreads and I hope you guys can understand what I'm saying. I have a problem of kind of talking too fast and slurring my words. So I will also put the link to Goodreads down below just in case you can't understand me or if you prefer to read the synopsis instead. A kidnapped while on tour musician Sidney Martell is transported to the mystical land of Avalon. A human without magical ability, she is completely vulnerable to the deadly forces surrounding her. When she defies her captors and refuses to share her music, an act of violent cruelty leaves her broken and her ability to play silenced, maybe forever. Her only hope is a whisper in the dark, gentle hands that offer healing, and a man who refuses to show, his, show her his face, yet who offers advice she dare not ignore. One of the most feared and powerful sorcerers in history, Morgan Le Fay serves a queen she, he despises, Isabel of the Light Court. Once a famous bard and advisor to kings, Morgan has been enslaved to Isabel for hundreds of years, acting as an enforcer and the commander of her deadly hounds. Sydney's music touches Morgan in places he had abandoned centuries ago, and her fury, and her, her fury spirit resurrects feelings he had long believed dead. For Sydney, trapped in captivity, passion offers a comfort she cannot resist, but Isabel holds Morgan bound in magical chains that only death can break. And in a court of a cruel and jealous queen, the only thing that burns hotter than love is revenge. So hopefully I didn't read that too fast for you guys and you understand what I'm saying. So basically we have two main characters, Sydney and Morgan. Sydney is a musician and Morgan is a magical bard as well as the head of the hounds. And like mentioned in the synopsis, he listens to Sydney's music. He just falls in love with it as well as with her. I read the synopsis and I was really, really intrigued by it. I wasn't intrigued by the first one, which is why I skipped over that one into this, the second one, Spellbinder. Unfortunately, I was really disappointed by the world building skills. Thea Harrison just really, really fell short and left me in a cloud of confusion when it came to this. I really didn't know what was going on. I didn't know whether humans knew about magic or whether they were aware of the other realm, what was going on, all these other magical creatures. She just did a horrible job of explaining all that. It wasn't until the middle of the novel that I actually started really getting into it and understanding more of the plot and that's because we went away from the fantasy aspect and away from the universe and actually focused more on their romance and the characters. I really enjoyed the romance, I really enjoyed the characters, and as for the main plot line, I really enjoyed that as well. Like I said, the worst part of it was the world building. It was just atrocious and it really, really affected my view of the novel. I really don't recommend you guys read this, especially if you haven't read the first one. I don't see a point in reading either one. I just don't find an interest in either of them. And if the world building was as atrocious in this novel as it was with the first novel, then I really don't see a point in trying to read this one either. I know a lot of people are probably saying that you could just read the first one, but the first one has really nothing to do with the second one, and I don't see how reading the first one would really make you understand the second novel any better because it just kind of follows different people with different plot lines. I'm just kind of at a loss here with this novel. I really, really wanted to enjoy it, but unfortunately it just really fell short for me. Uh, I've never read the Harrison stuff before, and I don't think I'm going to read any of her stuff and again. I just don't think that it's really worth it. Um, I'm sorry if you're a fan of hers and 
Uh, if you really enjoy some of our other novels or if there are other novels that are a lot better than the series, then please leave a link down below, let me know, and I'll check it out and see if it's something that I will be interested in and maybe she can be redeemed in my eyes. Other than that, quick overall, world building sucked, characters were really good, uh, loved the plot line, it was really intense, really action packed and kept things moving fast paced, so that was really great. Um, other than that, not something I'm planning on rereading, not something I'm planning on spending my money on. I'm really glad that I actually got this for free and I didn't waste my money on this because it was a disappointment. I'm sorry that's not what you guys wanted to hear, but just a quick warning for any of you guys that are interested in going out and reading the book. So that is all I have to say about Spellbinder by Thea Harrison. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on this novel and this video. I would love to have a conversation with you guys and I'll see you guys again soon. Oh